Facebook family and friends and PT Works, former and current patients. I wanted to take the opportunity to address you all in regards to our current climate as it relates to the coronavirus, the social distancing and how it has impacted us as a brand, as a profession, and as a nation. As some of you may know, I honestly love working with my hands. The gift that God has given me and to see the results that come out of using these hands is more rewarding than anything I have ever done and had the opportunity to experience in my life. And so in the presence of the coronavirus and the recommendations from our National Association, the American Physical Therapy Association, as well as CDC and other experts that are recommending and advising most people to avoid direct contact, to utilize social distances, and to not engage in non-emergent direct contact with people. So the week before last, as I watched this unfold, um, watching CNN and local news and seeing how the cases locally within Fulton County and surrounding counties started to grow. Um, it became more and more closer to home and ultimately more and more a fear as well as a concern. So the week before last, I stayed up all night uh, watching the news and pondering and even praying over the decision of what to do next. First and foremost, my concern is for the families that I service, the patients who sometimes are medically fragile, as well as even sometimes their caregivers who sometimes are grandparents, grandmothers, grandfathers, and even parents who have comorbidities and health conditions that could be compromised if this virus entered into their homes. So ultimately, as a mobile physical therapy company and provider, I decided to put sessions on hold until I had more information and until I could find a option that would allow me to give service in a way that would not potentially put patients, their families, as well as staff in harm's way. With that being said, over the last week and a half, we have had some new discoveries, thankfully. Um, for the state of Georgia, our state practice acts allows physical therapists to deliver services through what we call telehealth or telemedicine. What does that mean, acts? That is a medium by which we are able to direct, instruct, coach, um, find information out about patients, and implement plans, strategies, and treatments that can not only reverse their physical impairments, reduce pain and functional disabilities, but also improve quality of life and ultimately restore function. So, the 18th of this month, March, we got some really good news. The insurance companies came on board and decided to now give waivers for physical therapists in the state of Georgia so that not only could we deliver the services that now they will actually pay us to be able to do telehealth and to continue to assist our current patients and ultimately be able to reduce the chances for further decline of function with us not being able to be providers. So I'm really, really excited about this. 
it is a great opportunity to be able to continue services, but not only that, to even be able to reach out to people who before I was actually not even able to reach because of distance barriers. So with the state of Georgia, obviously I can treat anyone within the state because I am licensed in the state and also treat anyone who has insurance that is uh, allowing physical therapists to provide telehealth at this time. Right now, that is not all insurances, unfortunately. And there are some that are still evolving and emerging and day by day, this thing is changing. So what I have decided to do is to start with Georgia Medicaid as the first provider that I will be assisting in terms of providing telehealth to patients that are existing and those who may come with a referral moving forward during this coronavirus pandemic. Now, there are other insurances that we've gotten some information about. One is Medicare. Medicare has specifically said they're allowing for telemedicine, but they are allowing for something that is very similar to that. And it's very still restricted in terms of the number of visits they're allowing. They are only allowing seven visits, basically. And if that is actually construed and constructed in a way that is, um, is used in a very um, economical way, if you will, spreading the visits out that can assist the patient at least with figuring out what it is they need to do, starting a good home exercise program and allowing the therapist to actually instruct, correct, and guide them over the course of several weeks. It's not the ideal situation, but there is help because that population, which is generally those who have long-term health-related problems, as well as the ones that are elderly, 65 and older, who we know at this point are more vulnerable and more likely to get significant illnesses if they are exposed to the coronavirus. Now, at this time, I am not currently servicing that population, Medicare, however, for anyone else who may have that insurance, you can call Medicare and ask them for providers in your area so that they may be also able to assist in this arena. Fortunately, we have been together in ways that I have not seen in the 20 years of my profession in different platforms as well um, as social media, as a nation, as a state. I am extremely thrilled to see not only PTs, but other professions just become more compassionate and more understanding for the times that we are currently in. I just ask for your patience and your understanding as we go through this period of uncertainty, as this is new to a lot of providers who will be implementing this, and so there may be some growing pains. However, I think that this can ultimately provide us with some great opportunities and options even in the future beyond the coronavirus pandemic. So I will be using a platform called doxy.me, which is HIPAA compliant, and it is also an encrypted platform which will allow me to use live video interactions during the sessions where I can see the patient as well as the patient can see me. I can guide, I can correct, I can advise, and um, ultimately give intervention that can help us move forward during this time of crisis. So, those of you who are currently on my caseload, you have already been receiving correspondence through me. I will give instructions in terms of our schedule, which will be just as usual, and how you will be able to log into those secure sessions during the time that we have set aside for our visits. If you have any questions, please don't feel um, hesitant. Please give me a call. I'm still available by phone at 470. 733-2135. I am on social media with Instagram at ptworks underscore 14. You can also reach me on the ptworks Facebook page. Please, you can send me direct messages through uh, the face Facebook 
as well as through Instagram messaging options. I am here for you as much as I can be, so please feel free, even if it's just for a question or a free consultation, I am available to service you to the best of my abilities. As always, I wish you well. Please stay safe, exercise caution and good judgment, social distances, and protect your family at all costs. Talk to you later. Bye.